Hello, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. It's good to see you here. My name is Ego. I'm a law student, lifestyle blogger, and YouTuber. So before we get into today's video, I just want to say make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget, hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Okay, so for today's video, we have a part two of last week's video, which um, deals with love me hair. So as you can see, I have one of the wigs I made installed right now. So this is the wig I made with the closure that I got from Love Me Hair. And then when I'm done talking about this wig, I'm going to put on the wig I made with the bundles and the closure from Ally Pearl, just so you can see both and like get a feel for not only the closure, but the bundles too. So yeah, let's get into the hair. Okay, so let's get into the first wig. This is, like I said before, the wig I made with um, the closure. So I added some highlights to the wig, as you can see. Um, I think I did a pretty good job. I really like them. And then I just um, cut the wig to add some shape to it because I don't really like, I don't know, with like curly hair, if it's not like a long bundle, like a 24 inch, I just like to shape it to my face. Like I felt like the 18 inches was kind of awkward. So yeah, I just gave it a little bit of shape. Um, the bundles aren't from Love Me Hair. If you watched my previous video, you would know that. And if you haven't, I'm gonna link it in the cards right now. So yeah, go check that out. It's um, a first impression unboxing video of Love Me Hair. I think it's insightful. But yeah, so let's get back to this. Um, as you can see, this is the closure. It took to the um, tint, and <laughs> tint and bleach pretty well. Um, it's a four by four closure, but I added a light baby hair situation. Um, it definitely took to dye pretty well, I would say. Um, I bleached the front strands and then I darkened the roots. So I would say, yeah, it took to dye pretty well. It still kept a good curl pattern, I would say. Um, I twisted the hair and then I brush it out so this is personally how i liked it but it definitely had a good curl to it um, let me see if i can grab another piece but yeah like i said it took to dye pretty well as you can see has still has a good curl pattern um colored nicely so i definitely have no complaints about the closure lays nicely too um i didn't have to do that much plucking because like I said, the hairline wasn't that thick, which I can totally appreciate. So it took me about like 15, 20 minutes to pluck max. Um, I plucked the part a little bit. It is a three part wig, but for me, um, I usually only wear my wigs in one part unless it's a frontal. But if it's like a five by five, a four by four, a six by six, whatever the case may be closure, I don't switch to part. That's not really what I'm into, but I'm sure you can. Um, but yeah, let's get back into this color though. Like these highlights came out bomb. I think this is like a perfect, like cute little vacay, like vacation style wig. So yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, I made this wig yesterday. No, I lied. I made this wig two days ago. Um, I finished dyeing it yesterday. I just had to fix up the roots and add more highlights and then I put it on today so this is my first day wearing it i think it laid pretty nicely i just use um the wig dealer melting spray to put it on i'm going to sleep with it to see how it looks I ignore my <laughs> my bald kit uh yeah so i'm liking it i'm really liking it i definitely think i would purchase again i'm really liking it i think it's a vibe, it's a look. It takes color well, um, didn't like mat up or get over processed. And let's see, what did I do? I bleached it with the Dirty Volume developer and um, I mixed it with the dye too. So it was only a one process thing. That's how I like to do it, just so you don't get that brassy orange tone. Um, still maintain the curl pattern, like I said. It still has luster and shine. It doesn't look dry and brittle. So yeah, so far, I'm definitely rocking with Love Me Hair. Um, their closures are good. The only thing I will say my complaint is when you buy closures singularly, singularly, 
Um, I didn't really see any other options for anything but 4x4, four four, so I definitely think that's my only downside. I would like to see a 5x5 five five option. Maybe it's there and I didn't see it. You guys can definitely let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, but other than that, I think it's an affordable product and it's pretty good. My light went out. All right, so like I was saying, um, I have no complaints. I like the hair. I think it's great. I think it looks natural. It doesn't look too wiggy. Um, it laid pretty well. Yeah. And I was able to create baby hairs, which was great because it's kind of hard with a four by four, but you know, have a light little baby hair situation going. And yeah, so let's get into the bundles now and I'll spill the tea on those. So I use three bundles of 20 inches and I left them in the natural state that they came in. The only thing I um, added heat to was the closure because it was a body weight texture. So I added like light curls. Keep in mind, I've installed this wig about three days ago. So this is three day old, about three, four day old hair now that I'm recording this video. So like I said, I have not put any heat on these bundles. This is how they come. I've only put heat on the closure. I um, hot combed it and then I just like put a little curl to it, nothing crazy. I definitely am overdue for some sort of curl, but I'm feeling this little messy look vibe. How are y'all feeling it? Like, let me know in the comments down below. Keep it real with me. Like, is she laid or is she not? Like, let me know. Could it be all in my head? But these bundles are very cute. They have a very good natural little curl to it. I believe I got the big curl texture and I really like it. Um, maybe go down a little bit more. I really like this curl pattern. Like, this is really cute because these are the kind of curls I usually go for when I curl my own hair, but I usually brush it out. But this is pretty good. Um, like I've said, I've installed this wig about three, four days ago. I've slept on it. I've worked out like, and my lace still stayed laid. I've worked out. Um, since I've installed this wig, I went on a six mile walk. I've done a dance workout. I've done a little like quick hit workout. So it definitely maintains um, minimal shedding. Doesn't really tangle. As you can see, I can run my fingers right through it. So this is this is some pretty good hair. Like I'm definitely loving love me hair. I'm not gonna say I had low expectations, but I didn't expect it to like be like this. Because I saw mixed reviews on it on the Better Business Bureau, so I was like <laughs> worried to order. But at that point, I'm like, I've seen enough good reviews that. You also gotta take the bad reviews with a grain of salt because people can be nitpicky, but I think this hair is pretty good. I would definitely reorder. Um, and it'll definitely be on my list of hair companies I recommend. My only con right now is for the single closures, when you buy the closures, not in a bundle deal. Um, it does come in a four by four. I, not that I dislike four by fours, but I'm not like, like that's not one of my normally go to. If I'm getting a four by four closure, it's because I want to, and I don't know, maybe I want a more like everyday quick throw on wig that I don't have to glue down. Cause that's usually what I use four by fours. Four by fours are the only thing I'll wear glueless and anything else. Like a wig like this, I would not wear glueless. Even though I have made some of my units where they can be worn glueless, I just personally wouldn't because for me, it's too much lace. Like I need, I need it glued down. Like it's just too much lace for me to just be, you know, rocking it, no glue. Like I just like the way a glue down unit looks like, but that's just personal preference. But it's definitely easy to make your unit glueless. Just make sure your cap is the right size and you get a good elastic band. Bada boom, bada bang, you got a glue suited. But I really like these bundles, like y'all. These bundles is it. It's very cute, has a nice natural luster to it. <sighs> Ignore my personal edges because this ain't a bundle. But it has a nice little um, luster to it. These bundles are very cute, it has a nice luster to it. As you can see, it's not like 
too shiny to where it looks fake, but it's not too dull where it looks like dry and brittly. Um, like I said, I've slept on this hair, I've burnt out. I just tied my hair with a scarf at night. I have not put any heat on the actual bundles. This is just how they naturally are. So that's definitely good for me. The only thing, and honestly, I probably won't straighten this. Yeah, I don't see, I don't foresee that. But honestly, the only thing I'll probably continue to put heat on is the closure, just because it is a body weight texture, so it blends nicely. But I do like this little messy look that I have going on. So the heat will be very minimal. But other than that, I'm very satisfied with my purchase. I think Love Me Hair is a great brand. I definitely would say check them out. Um, it went very well with this Alley Pearl closure. Like they blended pretty good together. You can't even tell. At least to me, you can't really tell. So yeah, um, I would say the closure I'm happy with. Um, I've had better closures, but it's not a bad closure. Just uh, but I don't think I would reorder a closure just because, like I said, the individual is a 4x4 four four and um, I've had better closures. Not to say it's bad. I definitely would say it's good to order, like, but I personally don't think I would reorder, but not because of the quality reasons, just because of the looks I go for. And plus, um, I think Ali Pearl and... Kendra's Boutique might be my go-to for closures because they give me personally the best meltdown. Um, bundles, I definitely would reorder. I really like them. Um, I waited a few days to record this just to see like how it goes with sweat, working out, sleeping, etc. And it goes pretty well. Um, the natural pattern stays. And yeah. All right, that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be informative. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out part one of this video. Part one, I will link it. It's gonna be linked down in the bio and it's linked in, not, yeah, the, not the bio, the description box. It'll be linked down in the description box and it's linked in the cards, but part one, I basically talk about um, just like my first impression of the hair, you literally see me unboxing the hair, like I hold up the DHL bag, all that, and I just give you my genuine first impression. I also show you like what kind of stuff they add in with their um, hair packages because they definitely give you a good amount of stuff that's useful, so I can appreciate that. But yeah, um, that's it for today. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. That's all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!